What's up everyone, my name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. All right, folks. So here we are, March 24th, 2020. We're amidst the coronavirus pandemic. The entire market's in turmoil. Uh, the entire world is crashing and zombies are now real. Just kidding. But if this comes to fruition later in the future, don't say I didn't fucking tell you so. Okay, so real quick, before I jump into the presentation, I haven't looked back through the chats today, but seeing you're having E-Trade problems, I was two today, really bad. But did they say, what did they say when you talked to them on the phone? Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna summarize my E-Trade conversation just real fast, keep it brief. So E-Trade's been dropping um, on their servers lately. Um, it is probably due to the volatility of the markets and the uh, absolute massive amount of flow and volume that's coming through. So I expect it to get better in the future, but they, they told me, E-Trade told me that they updated their quote servers. And then two hours later, the same shit happened and the platform dropped off a connection again and then reconnected for me. And it, it's, it's just a pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. Pain in the freaking arse. So um, their web platform, Power E-Trade, is like awesome. And it works great. And since primarily I've been trading options, I don't, I don't use level two anymore. I just look at the chart. So yeah, Power E-Trade is totally fine. I have Power E-Trade, like I had the link like ready to go to click if pro drops or I have my phone. But anyway, so yeah, I might switch away from E-Trade because they're pissing me off. Um, as far as because he trades you who I use primarily to trade options through and I, I don't keep a lot of money in my options account and um, I haven't really even traded a uh, equity account in like 30 or 60 days <laughs> 30 days I want to say maybe a little yeah a little over 30 days yeah I'm pretty much the fucking grim reaper when it comes to the spy on Tuesdays so just know that that is the real thing uh, every time I do a webinar I tank the market I'm bit I'm I'm worse than Cuomo Como Kumo whatever the fuck you say his name and yeah yeah I'm pretty much the grim reaper when it comes to spies so don't hold anything long overnight on Tuesdays uh, if you do sell it before 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, it is a pattern. We have back tested it. I'm just kidding. But yeah, it is a real thing. Anyway, so trend analysis. Large caps, man, are trend based. And so the ability to analyze a trend is very, 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 very valuable. Small caps are momentum based, right? They're psychological. They're going to change at any fucking moment. Any moment that somebody wants to pull the rug, that shit's going to go to the ground. And any moment that somebody wants to rip it to the ceiling, all they got to do is fucking open up their unlimited fucking buying power account and just buy the float. And then all of a sudden, everybody that's short is fucking mortgaging their home to not get a mortgage margin call. And everybody that's long, which is no one but the fucking algo, is having a heyday. So, I mean, it trend analysis is the, the best trend analysis for small caps is what we teach, the fucking VWAP reclaims and the death lines <laughs> and first red day. That's trend analysis, right? That's trend reversals. Those are reversals. But continuing a trend is a much different story and many times fails very fast in small caps. Whereas in large caps, trends can last for years. They can last for decades. They can last a very, very long time. And it's all subjective. Some people may see a bigger time frame trend than others. So before we do that, let's actually go through market analysis. And if you guys are cool with this layout, I'm gonna do it like Austin does, where I still have the chat over here. And then I have the PowerPoint on the slide there. So if anybody has a problem with how small this slide is, 
I mean, let me know. And uh, I mean, you guys tell me really quick how it looks on your screen. On well, my screen, it looks fine. Uh, but if I need to kind of, you know, do this or something like that, I just want to be able to see you guys' comments to catch it all in one. It's real fast. Okay, it's good on the iPad. Okay, this is better. Okay, all right. Well, I will, let me, let me just kind of leave it right there because then I can see when something else at least pops up. Okay, so just need to know when Spy is going to tank. Right now, pretty much right now. <laughs> Just right now, during this entire thing, it's going to fade. It'll probably fade back to 240 by the time we're done. All right. Anyway, market analysis. So let's talk about this. This is last week's chart, okay, if you guys remember this. Uh, and I apologize for the weird feeling of last week in advance. When you go back and watch that, if you haven't seen it yet, or if you were here struggling through it with me, it was, uh, the vibe was weird, man. The market was weird. The, you know, it was just me and Tosh talked about this in, on Wednesday. Both of us were just like, man, it's something in the air and it's not Corona, but it was just something in the air that just the vibe felt wrong. The attitude felt wrong and it, and it was just, um, uh, it was just rough. So the SPY, let's talk about SPY here. Okay. The SPY, this is the SPX, so this is SP 500 large cap index. So Last week, this is the this is the state of it last week. Look at the timestamp, 16 March uh, 2020, okay? So 16th of March 2020, look at the volume that we previously had. We have 4 million shares roughly trading about, you know, the average, okay? Roughly trading the average, all right? And if you remember this blue line that I discussed last week, and go back and watch the webinar, and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go into it all again, but back in 1987, we had a 35, 36% correction. Hi, Sean, watching from your car. I love that. I don't know how to turn that shit off where you don't see the videos that pop up, but whatever. Hopefully, you guys get some entertainment out of it, and nobody pops up on their fucking nude in their bathroom taking a deuce. So an 8% drop. Okay, or a 35% drop. God bless America. 35%, 36% drop was in 1987. Okay, and this study was basically a correction that comes from a stock or from the market hitting a 52 week high. Okay, so like in an example, this would be a correction right here where the stock or where, where the spy was, I keep saying stock, but where the spy was at a 52 week high and then corrected. Same situation here 52 week high correction. 52 week high correction falls into a bear market. Oh shit, panic. Uh, anyway, so this was the prediction, right? Okay. If we are to bottom and do it very similar to the same percentage that we did in 1987 from the high, okay, from the high, that would be the level we bottom at. Okay. What happened? Holy fucking shit. It went right to the line, right to the line. Okay. Key difference here now. Okay. Key difference, look at the amount of volume that's occurred over the week, okay? In just one week's time from the 16th of March to the 24th of March, we have almost doubled the amount of volume that we've done, right? Because remember from previous slide, previous slide roughly 4.1 million. Next slide, 7.5 or 70, I'm, I'm saying it, it's obviously wrong, that's 75 uh, billion, but it was previously, 41 billion now 74 billion okay that's with a b billion bravo so we've really sped up in terms of volume in the last week okay but we went right to the bottom of the correction point in 1987 the same percentage okay no history never repeats itself nope never fucking happens okay here you go recession recession Correction, correction, it's the same chart we've been looking at this entire time, okay? I'm just updating it as we go, 35.7%. If you look back in 1987, that's pretty much identical to the fucking penny percentage to 1987. How many option contracts do you usually buy and how far out on average? So option contracts that I buy, on, do I usually buy? So my max loss on any given trade generally is between $500 to $1,000. That's my max loss. I don't really like going over that, and I'm going to look to make anywhere between $500 to $1,000, sometimes $2,000 on the trade. Uh, does it always work out that way? No, it does not. So if I'm trading for a day trade, this is to answer the how far out on average. If I'm trading for a day trade, I'm always choosing this Friday's expiration. Okay. If I plan to hold it overnight at all, and I'm out of the money next Friday's expiration. So if I think that there's a chance that I'm not gonna be in the money today and I might need to hold it overnight if the trend holds, or if the setup holds, 
I'm going to go with next, next Friday's expiration because there's going to be less decay overnight each time. If I plan to swing it for a week or two, I'm going 30 or 60 days out and I'm going out of the money almost always. And how do I pick the strike? Well, I look at where I want the, what, what's my target? My target is my strike price most of the time. All right, guys, have a great evening. We'll see you. Tomato! Bright and not so early because we trade large caps and don't need to wake up at early as small cap traders to get our borrows at 4 a.m. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.